Books make perfect gifts any time of the year. But for book lovers, Christmas is a special time as you can indulge yourself or someone else in the luxury of a book. Buy any book by best-selling author Kakwa Bading and download for free from the Kakwa Bading app on your Android, iPhone or Windows phone. The message titled, How Jesus Solved His Problems. Place your order now through the following means. Place your order on Facebook by posting promo at the comment section or message window. We also deliver worldwide. Place your order now and let's take the hassle of gift buying and delivery off your head. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. This message is brought to you by the friends and partners of Kakra Baden. Welcome to Air Power with Kakra Baden, teaching the nations with signs and wonders. Kakra is a senior pastor of the Morning Star Cathedral, Lighthouse Chapel International, Accra, Ghana. Now, today's message. Welcome. Kakra begins an exciting prophetic message titled, My Year of Good Things, with the subtitle, The Good of the Land. Let's join in as he introduces the subject in today's message. The prophet has spoken, and he has declared this year, the year of good things. You know, prophecy is important. Why? One thing that makes prophecy important is that it gives you light. In this world, when you don't have light, you bump into things. But when you have light, you can see. So prophecy gives you direction. I remember just about two days ago, I was praying about something. And in the middle of the night, the Lord woke me up and I had a revelation. And as soon as the revelation came, I could see light. And because of the light, immediately I diagnosed the problem and I knew the answer. That's why in 2 Peter 1.19, Peter said, We have a more sure word of prophecy. Whereunto you do well to take heed as unto a light gives you direction. Anything that you are planning, this year is a good year to do that thing. You don't have to be a member of this church to be a beneficiary of prophecy. When God gave a prophecy to Abraham, I will bless you and curse them that curse thee and said, in thee shall all the families of the earth be blessed. I wasn't there, but I've taken that prophecy as mine. It's the same thing. God gave a prophecy through Moses. He said, hail will fall from heaven. All the cattle of Egypt will be destroyed. Moses gave the word. Some of the Egyptians responded to the word. In Exodus 9, 9 verse 20, the Bible says, They that feared the word of the Lord Amongst Pharaoh's, amongst the servants of Pharaoh, made their cattle and their servants to flee into their houses. They were not members of Moses' church. But when the prophecy came, they held it. This year is a good year to make plans to marry because it's a year of good things. Just only the wind is blowing. You want to be anointed. It's a good year to cry to God. God, anoint me. May you experience the year of good things. I like Psalm 65 verse 11. It says, Thou crownest the year with thy goodness. The word crown, it means surround. I prophesy that goodness will surround you. Thy parts drop fatness. Fatness is just oil in solid form. So the oil stands for, the fast stands for the anointing. So that prophecy, I believe, contains the anointing of God. They drop upon the pastures of the wilderness. And the little hills rejoice on every side. The little hills are the people who don't have much strength. Maybe you don't have much money, you are a little hill. But this year you will rejoice. 
The next verse says, in verse 13, it says, The pastors are covered with flocks. Which means in the year of good things, God blesses the work of your hands. It is my prayer that something that took you five years to achieve, this year, you will do it in three months. He said, the valleys are also covered with corn. Which means, those days everybody was a farmer. So whatever business you are involved in, I prophesy blessing upon the business. Then he says, they shout for joy. He said, it's a year of testimonies. May you be shouting for joy. Thanks for joining us. Today we learned that prophecy provides direction, anointing and the blessings of God. Join us same time tomorrow for the continuation of this message. Before we leave, here's a praise report to boost your faith in the Lord. Daughter healed of asthma, dear Kakra, barely 24 hours after I sent you a prayer request concerning my daughter who was experiencing an asthmatic crisis, you replied that he had prayed for healing. By the grace of God and to his glory, she is now healed and completely free from asthma. God be praised. Thanks for your time. You can contact us, seek counseling, ask for prayer, order today's full length message, or order books through the following means. Call us or message us on WhatsApp to plus 233 55 700 90 10. Send an email to info at You can also make a regular call or send a text to plus 233 207 515 Our office hours are 10 a.m. to 1600 hours GMT. Finally, write to us, share your testimony, and how this broadcast has been a blessing to you.